today let us go through unit 2 letter to god here we can see the poem clouds this poem is written by christina rossetti christina rossetti was an english woman who wrote many important poems in the 1800s she wrote a poem called clouds that describes what you see when you look up at the sky and how the clouds float slowly by and disappear let us read the poem clouds white ship white ship on a blue hill white ship white ship on a blue hill when the wind stops you all stand still when the wind stops you all stand still when the wind blows you walk away slow when the wind blows you walk away slow why chip why chip where do you go the girl in the poem speaks to the clouds moving in the sky the word clouds is only used in the title the poet used the word sheep to describe clouds she speaks to them as she speaks to her friends then the story starts letter to god the story talks about lancho the main character who is a farmer and has immense faith in god his cornfield has been totally destroyed by a hailstorm but he does not give up his faith in god he writes a letter to god asking for some financial help he addresses the letter to god in the post office when the postman saw the letter he burst laughing and showed this letter to the postmaster the postmaster being a good man decided to help lancho with some money with the help of the staff he collected 70 pesos when lancho came to the post office to receive the reply became angry by finding only 70 pesos instead of 100 so he wrote another letter to god in which he asks him to send full amount and this time not by mail as the post office staff are crooks and steal some money from it some comprehensive questions are given in the textbook let us see the questions how do you think lancho knew that it was going to rain he saw huge mountains of rain clouds throughout the morning lancho had done nothing was he lazy what do you think lancho was not lazy throughout the morning lancho was looking at the sky expecting rain have you watched the sky when it rains how does it look yes the sky looks dark at that time the big drops are tens and the little ones are fives 
what does lanjo mean by this he is confident that his harvest is going to yield him huge profits lanjo was happy when it started raining but the happiness didn't last long what was the reason the rain became a hailstorm and the corn was totally destroyed now expressions which tell you that lanjo was sad lanjo's soul was filled with sadness that night was a sorrowful one what changes did the hailstorm bring to the valley the field was white as if covered with salt not a leaf remained on the trees the corn was totally destroyed the flowers had disappeared from the plants how does the author describe lanjo lanjo worked like an animal in the fields still he knew how to write which expression in the passage tells you that lanjo wrote the letter early in the morning at their break he began to write a letter why did lanjo write the letter to none other than god lanjo had immense faith in god immediately after reading the letter the postmaster turned serious why the postmaster was amazed at lanjo's faith in god why did the postmaster take effort to collect money for lanjo the postmaster did not want to shake lanjo's faith in god why was it difficult for the postmaster to collect 100 pesos the employees could donate only small amounts what would you do if you were the postmaster if i were the postmaster i would collect money from other people too and would send 100 pesos why didn't lanjo show any surprise when he got the money he was sure that god would send him money what was the expectation of the postmaster did it come true the postmaster expected that lanjo would get surprised but it did not get happen why was lanjo angry lanjo was angry because the money was less than what he had asked for the actions of lanjo after counting money are described in detail narrate what he did in the correct order you may begin like first he went to ask for paper and ink first he went to ask for paper and ink he sat at the writing table he started to write after finishing the letter he bought a stamp and affixed it on the envelope then he put the letter into the mail box was lanjo greedy how do you describe him no he was not greedy lanjo believed that god cannot make a mistake what would be the postmaster's feeling when he read lanjo's second letter the postmaster felt a little ashamed but at the same time 
he surprised in Lanzo's faith. Why did Lanzo think that the post office employees are a bunch of crooks? Lanzo thought that it is the postmaster or the employees of the post office had stolen 30 pesos. Pick out the sentences in the story that show Lanzo's strong faith in God. All through the night, Lanzo thought only of his one hope, God. Lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money. Such was his confidence. God could not have made a mistake. Usually we enjoy rain. There are times when we curse the rain too. Have you had any such experience? Share it with your friends. Rain is a beautiful feeling for me. But if it rains where I want to play, I will curse the rain. Even though I like to play in rain, my mother won't allow it. Last year, I had participated in school Shastra Ulsava. My item was Maths Pasi. Sub district Mela was at Velangalur. It was too late to judge me and my friends had returned to their homes. Suddenly, a heavy rain began. In that dark and rainy evening, we reached home very late. I love watching rain. Floating paper boats in rainwater makes me happy. Even though I like raining, either heavy storms or thunder associated with the rain is horrific for me. Then, see the next activity. After posting the second letter to God, Lencho returned home and narrated all the events to his wife. Write them down. Today, I got God's reply. God sent money for us. But the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. They stole 30 pesos from it. So I wrote a second letter to God and told that not to send it by mail. The postmaster writes a reply to Lencho's second letter. Imagine and write down the letter. Here two sample letters are given. Let us read the first letter. Dear Lancho, I am your God. I received your letter. It was not the mistake of the employees in the post office. I had sent only 70 pesos for you. I thought that I would send the balance 30 pesos later. Now, the balance money is here with the letter. See, second sample letter. My dear Lancho, it was I who collected and sent you 70 pesos. Please do not misunderstand me. I could collect only that much. Go on with your cultivation. You will get a good harvest. May God bless you. Postmaster Can you see any difference in these two letters? In the first letter, Postmaster again writes as God. Is it? And what about in the second letter? In the second letter, Postmaster reveals the truth. Try to write a letter of you were on. Hailstorm destroyed the crops in Lancho's village. The local newspaper reported it. Prepare the likely report. The headline is given for you. A sample news report is given here. Hail 
hailstorm destroys crops mexico october 4 a heavy hailstorm rained in the mexican valley yesterday the hailstones rained for hours the crops of farmers were destroyed they were expecting a good harvest after the rain see the second one hailstorm destroys crops mexico october 3 a hailstorm destroyed the crops of the entire mexico valley last evening farmers were praying for rain but it came as a hailstorm lancho the leading farmer alone had a loss of 200 pesos the district collector visited the valley you can write a news report of your own see here are the activities activity 1 Find out from the story more expressions which appeal to your senses. Which are the senses? Sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. Some examples are given. Fresh and sweet air appeals to sense of smell. The field was white appeals to sense of sight See the activity in your textbook In Lancho's story there are many expressions which appeal to our senses of sight hearing smell taste and touch for example fresh and sweet air appeals to sense of smell the field was white appeals to sense of sight find out from the story more expressions which appeal to your senses let us hear the words of our friend fresh and sweet air appeals to sense of smell the field was white appeals to sense of sight the ripe corn dotted with the flower appeals to sense of sight huge mountains of clouds could be seen appeals to sense of sight pleasure of feeling rain on its body appeals to sense of touch then activity 2 Look at the following expressions from the story. A good harvest. New coins. A strong wind. In the above expressions, the underlined words tell us more about the head words. Which are the head words? Harvest, coins and wind. which are the underlined words good new strong here the underlined words tell us about the number and quality of the head word now let us look at a few more examples and find out how the head words are described these underlined words describe the head words so these words can be called as describing words see some examples cats two cats two black cats two small black cats certain words are added to the word cats these words tell us 
more about the cats like their number size and color bag a bag a leather bag a white leather bag a big white leather bag some more examples are here flowers three flowers three yellow flowers three tiny yellow flowers three beautiful tiny yellow flowers boy a boy a little boy a smart little boy identify the words in the above word pyramids which tell us about the number quality color shape size etc of the objects or persons you can also find such describing words from the story and list them in the columns read the story given below some words are underlined make the story more meaningful by adding describing words to them similar to the ones we have listed in the columns let us read the story a sparrow lay small eggs in her nest on a tree an egg hatched a chick peeped out the sparrow brought worms for the birdie the birdie ate them with its beak days passed by one morning the mother sparrow flew out of the nest the chick opened its cute eyes and looked out she saw flowers leaves and fruits on plants and trees she opened her wings and flapped them which are the underlined words yes sparrow eggs nest tree chick worms bee morning flowers leaves fruits wings let us add some describing words before these underlined words see the work of our friend a beautiful sparrow laid three small eggs in her tiny nest on a big tree an egg hatched a cute chick peeped out the sparrow brought few worms for the birdie the birdie ate them with its little beak days passed by one sunny morning the mother sparrow flew out of the nest the chick opened its cute eyes and looked out she saw yellow flowers green leaves and red fruits on plants and trees she opened her feathered wings and flapped them you have met a farmer a postman and a postmaster in the story letter to god here is a song find out what the people of the town do then make a list of different occupations mentioned in the song i see a firefighter fighting fires i see a car mechanic changing tires I see a pilot flying through the air. I see a barber cutting people's hair. I see the people in my town and I say, "Hey brother, 
what's going down? I see a postman with the mail. I see the police putting folk in jail. I see a lifeguard at the swimming pool. I see the teachers in the local schools. I see the people in my town and I say, hey brother, what's going down? Doctors, nurses, astronauts, judges, lawyers in the courts. I see an actor acting on the stage. I see a writer writing on a page. I see a chef working in a restaurant And a waiter asking what you want I see the people in my town And I say, hey brother, what's going down? Doctors, nurses, astronauts Judges, lawyers in the courts I see the people in my town And I say, hey brother, what's going down? I say, hey brother, what's going down? Activity 4 In the last activity, we had already made a list of different occupations. Now, let us identify the occupations and write the names of the occupations in the boxes given below each picture. See the list of occupations. Firefighter, Mechanic, Pilot, Hairdresser, Postman, Policewoman, Lifeguard, Teacher, Doctor, Musician, Astronaut, Artist, Lawyer, Nurse, Actor, Writer, Chef, Waiter, Dentist, Carpenter. See what's written here? Doctor. Yes, you should complete all these boxes. Then, some more here. Here also, you should identify the occupations and write the names of the occupations in the boxes given below each picture. One is done for you. Chef. Okay, shall we go to the next activity? Activity 5 is the continuation of the last two activities. We need help from other people on different occasions. Who will you approach on the following occasions? Let us hear the words of Shri Priya. You want to make a table. Carpenter, you want to get your hair cut. Barber, you want to paint your house. Painter, when you are ill. Doctor, when a thief breaks into your house. Police, when a fire breaks out. Firefighter, when your bicycle needs repair. Mechanic, you want to change a water tap. Plumber. We yeah, are wind up in today's class. Let us see other activities in the next class.